Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video you're going to learn on how to import your flight plans from Simbro. So a very very cool feature that's just been added to the TOLUS A321 and A319 and also it's been in there I think for quite a while in the A340. So all the TOLUS planes, these steps should apply to all three aircraft. So you can see here if you go to the init page on the MUCDO this little init request thing. So that should come alive once we've set it up correctly. So first things first, we want to, if you open TOLUS, open the ICIS or whatever it is and then go into the sounds add-on and accounts now page where it says account IDs Simbrief ID right here and you're going to want to type it in but how on earth you going to get the Simbrief ID I, I hear you ask I wonder what it is well let's head on to Simbrief you can see our flight plan here so simply put obviously you need to create a flight plan that you're going to fly first so what we're going to do we're going to go to my account if you don't have this already you can go to the Batch, then account settings and then if you press sim brief data bingo you can see it there pilot ID all you're gonna do is we're simply going to copy it control and C on the keyboard go back into explain 12 press control and V and bingo you can type this out and just press enter or just click away and should check it and then as you have seen up here we do now have the init request option that got an asterisk by it you can simply press it there and there you go you can see flight plan data link in progress but well, the flight plan has uplinked the perfect has uplinked it there look at this option you've got to select this it's off by default set payloads and fuel to sim brief select that we go up here to avitab i've already got the flight plan in here you can see our zero fuel weight on the init page here there you go and then you can see it has also up to linked our weights as we got it to here and also if you look at loading performance in the iscs you can see pax is uplinked and look our oh, zero fuel weight is all here fuel weight zero fuel cg is all here so you don't need to adjust any of this as well and of course it has loaded it as well so look at that 18.7 thousand pounds of fuel so it has indeed loaded it so you don't need to press any of the buttons there so make sure set payloads and fuel to some brief is on and then if you go to the init page and it be just like you to put in your weights you can see the numbers in there it's in pounds so this is why it's completely ridiculous gave me a little shock when i saw it right you can indeed see here on a conversion calculator that 8.5 tons does equal 18.7 thousand pounds whatever it is and then zero fuel weight is meant to be 68.8 there you go you can see indeed pounds is corresponding so make sure you check all the weights beforehand but it should all should be correct flight plan make sure obviously you need to put in your sids and stars that doesn't really work with sim because obviously you're going to want to change it every time depending on atc so make Make sure you put in your sits and stars and then the whole route as you can see is all clear so it's as simple as that and also make sure you press save these settings press that a million times or whatever because otherwise every time you launch i explain and try to uplink this flight it's not going to work because it has not saved these settings in the files anyway i hope that was useful anyway thanks for watching everyone please do like the video please do subscribe